Hey guys, so today we are borrowing a photo from Hello Sun and I'm going to be using one of his images to recreate a golden and blue color grade a style I really really like and we're just using one of his images for this tutorial. So if you guys like his style you can go give him a follow down in the description. I'll put his links down there for you guys. So this golden and blue look, it's a lot of blue in the shadows and a lot of warmth throughout the entire image and it's quite a tricky one and I'm going to try my best to show you guys how to do it and it's a style that a few people use. Uh, Garrett King uses a style like this and yeah let's get into Lightroom so I can show you guys how I go about getting this look. Okay so just broaden it up and he has especially Garrett King he has a very little amount of contrast in his image so I'm gonna bring it down a lot and then we're gonna add in pretty strong tone curves so that's gonna add in a lot of contrast as well we need and we need those strong S curves to be able to get our colors so let's bring down the highlights a lot of detail in the highlights Um, let's, let's do some vignetting. Feather it out to make it smoother. We'll bring the midpoint towards the middle. Okay, let's go back up. Um, let's bring the shadows. Okay, so I'm going to do some split toning now, and I think this is really important, this part. This is where you get those golden blues. So let's chuck in a lot of warmth, a nice golden orange into the highlights. And we'll just add a lot of warmth to the entire image. Okay, if we just come down, we've got a bit more warmth to the image now. And now we want a lot of blues to the shadows. And then on the balance, gonna shift it towards the that there's more warmth in the image so the blues are more affecting the darker shadows and there's a bit of highlights coming into those darker shadows put it about there it's pretty subtle at the moment but after we do our curves it should all come out quite well so we'll just quickly warm up those greens right so into the curves
Okay, so that's the curves done. And yeah, so bringing down these shadows gives that real bit more of a moodier look in there. And bringing out the blues in certain areas gives a gold tone. So you just got to learn how to work with the curves and it's quite hard so you take out blue here and you're left with green and red and if you know color theory if you can create any color with the colors red green and blue so taking a bit out of one color and then a little more of another and you can end up making any color you want so i've tried to make a nice golden uh, look and especially cooler in the blues and the tricky thing about this style there's almost warm tones and cool tones in the shadows and I think we mainly did that with the split toning how you keep you shift this along and then that way the blues are only affecting the darker shadows I think that's pretty much what we've done so you get those real cool tones in the darker shadows and then you get warm tones as well in the shadows but in those lighter shadows. And I've sort of done that with the curves as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. And we'll just move on to, uh, let's do some HSL. Let's desaturate these greens, they're just too strong. And then it sort of replaces it with a really nice goldish color. And I definitely want to take down the luminance of these blues. Just makes everything a bit darker and moodier. Otherwise, we're pretty good. Maybe bring up these blues a bit. We'll shift these blues to a touch more of a lighter blue. And shift these aquas away from the green it's looking a touch green and the blues we want that nice blue and yeah I'm pretty happy with that guys. Let's do a touch of green. And I might just save it as a preset. So if you want to save a preset, come over here, add preset, create preset, choose everything you want. You don't want filters. And you don't you do want grain and I'm gonna call it
gold blue one and create so if you guys are liking these tutorials check out my presets because i'm adding all the best the best filters the best presets into this one package so there's a ton of value in there for you guys so check it out and yeah you guys go give them a follow down in the description all of his links are down there for you guys and yeah comment who you guys want to see and if you can comment people that don't have many followers but have great images that way i can reach out to them and ask them to send in a photo for a tutorial but yeah that's about it guys catch you in the next one thanks for watching